Hey guys, it's Dane here with a new video and today we're gonna walk right outside my front door or well the side door and we see this beautiful view. We see what we made last video and if we look over here, oh my goodness, would you look at that? Another scaffolding has appeared. I don't know what we're gonna have to do this time. So if you watched the last video on this guy, it was building up the lore of the world and he's an ancient titan, he's a water titan, and he came before this Minecraft world existed, so he's circular shape. All that, you can watch the video to hear all the explanation on that. And if you watch that, you'll understand this guy a little bit better. So this is going to be a fire or a lava titan, or just like any, any kind of heat. So we got over here, this is the same boxes. We got all this magma blocks. So we're gonna start with all this stuff. We're gonna build up the circle. And since I built a circle in this video, I'm going to just skip to the point where I'm about at the same right here. And then we'll continue the video. All right, so we finished the uh, big circle part. And since this guy is lava or fire based, he's gonna be a little bit more alive. And this guy over here, this guy looks like he's more brain dead. This guy is gonna be a little more animated looking. And he's right in proximity with this village, so I lined him up so this path is going to work out just fine for when their villagers are going to try to interact and take his resources. So we're going to fill this in and then go through all the same stuff that made this guy look cool, but we're going to do it slightly differently and make this guy unique. Let's get into that. Oh my goodness, I just mined an arbitrary amount of these magma blocks and I have a stack of 52 left after finishing all this, so that was really good, uh, I guess, I guess. All right, so we got all that laid out, and one thing I forgot to mention is without Frostwalker, it's a nightmare making this guy, so after about three seconds of me making this guy, I decided to go enchant myself some boots that have Frostwalker on them, so I'm not using my actual netherite boots right now with all the enchantments, I'm just using Frostwalker. Otherwise, this is really annoying to work on. You have to be shifting throughout the whole thing. That's not fun. All right, so on to the next part. All right, so the server was actually down for about a week or so, and I forgot what I said last clip. So we're just gonna go on to the next part. I'm gonna start creating the strap around this guy. And uh, since he's a little bit more active and a fiery attitude, <laughs> we're gonna have different kinds of strap. It's not gonna just be one little string hold him down he's gonna have a little bit more restraint all right let's get into building that place in a collar Ooh. Okay, so <laughs> you get the idea. <laughs> All right, so I have some of these black glazed terracotta and I'm using those as the things that are gonna hold on to the ropes. The thing that you see right here is it's just like a, all the pieces are sort of pointing in the same direction and it doesn't really look all too good. I mean, it looks good, but the idea of this is this is like hot metal. So this guy's really hot and it's heating up. So the, I thought the black and red from far away looked good. So let's get some rockets out so I don't die. So if you see it's like sort of red and glowy, that was the idea. But we are going to look at, but we are going to look at these other ones that we did. So look over here. So it sort of goes circle, 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 circle. And on the bottom it does it too. Uh, I'll show you in a little bit. So we're gonna just make the pattern from that and this one over here, circle, 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 match with this one just so it looks a little bit better than just like random spots. Uh, from the ground, it's sort of hard to tell what's going on because the sun blinds you anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but I think it's a nice little touch to have like stuff that actually sort of makes patterns when you can use patterns. All right, so I'm gonna fix this one and then we're going to add all the ropes. 
All right, so I'm standing on top of my friend's roof. I'm in creative so I can fly around. So there are the cables. And I was thinking, what could we use as anchors if I don't have much access to iron in this world? And we need it to be something heavy. And these guys are getting resources from something hot so they might be able to like blacksmith and cast and all that stuff. So I think the best idea would be to use gold, like big gold blocks to hold it down. Gold is really heavy and they have the technology now to be smelting stuff and casting stuff and all that stuff and you can cast gold. So uh, you might think if I can't get iron, why would I be able to get gold? So I built a farm in the nether a while ago and AFK'd for a really long time because the rates in this world are sort of crappy. But uh, I was able to get a little bit of the gold blocks, and uh, I'm going to take those gold blocks from the nether and stack them up, see if I have enough. I think I should have enough. And if not, then <laughs> I don't know. I'll come back to the next part of the video. But guys, all of this blackstone and all of this blackstone, I still have more than a shulker box full of blackstone left. So I think those bastions that I tore down really uh, give you a lot of material. So. If you ever are looking for a lot of blackstone, just go to a bastion and destroy the entire thing with a pickaxe. <laughs> okay, so this is what I have planned out for the anchors. Now this is one, two, three by one, two, three. This is three by three by three, a three meter cubed thing of gold holding down this one part of the anchor. So there's gonna be three of these. So for just this one, this gold in real life would weigh, would weigh about 521 metric tons, roughly calculated out to pounds, that's about 1.15 million pounds just for this. If you know how much a blue whale weighs, anywhere from the highest to the lowest estimate, that'd be anywhere between 3.5 to 10.5 blue whales just on this one cord. So that guy is smaller than a blue whale, probably. He might be close to the same size, who knows? We don't, I don't really know, I didn't want to do the math on that. But if there was three to 10 blue whales on just this one, and then on that one, on that one, I'm sure this guy's not moving anywhere. I mean, they would be flopping around and that would be torture on them. But more than a million pounds on each of these, totally gonna hold them, it's, it's good, all right. So we have this, we're gonna build it on all those over there, so. Let's get to building those and then we'll go on to actually making the guy more expressive. All right, so all those gold blocks, whoop. <laughs> all those gold blocks, they uh, took up all but one that I had left over from the gold farm. So that's really good resourcing use there. Uh, and as I was following, you can see that we have all three of them done. This is the one in the back. This is the one up front next to this pathway over here. I moved this pathway over one just because it was cutting through and that was sort of weird. And then the one all the way over there. All the way over here. And yep, well, look at that. We got some stuff starting up here. So. We are testing out some stuff. I have some shroom lights that I am testing to see if it looks different as when I was making his arms, or at least testing out what his arms are supposed to look like. It sort of blended in with the other colors because it was the same block. So, while we fly up here, we can see that I'm trying to do something with the other blocks to make it easier to see that his arms are there. And I think it's gonna be something I'm going to incorporate shroom lights into the rest of him so it looks like he has glowing patches and his arms are glowing out. We'll find out. So after I play around, I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. But that's the main idea right now. All right, so I played around with some more blocks that made it look like his arm is actually getting colder as it goes down. So we were looking up and we see that he has the glow going from his shoulder and then it's going down I'm using some honeycomb blocks to fade it into these magma blocks and then that's going into some red another brick 
that's going into some actual another brick after that and then his nails are the same nails that he has so since they're similar species they have the same nails <laughs> all right let's go into creative so we can fly around and see what it looks like from the sides and all that so he's gonna have hands like this you can see that they're getting colder and colder as he's reaching forward that's what the colors are emulating I'm pretty sure these honeycomb blocks look good as a transition color since they all have the same sort of like bulbous things so it's like all the same stuff so it's like sort of the same block that has different colors to it and this looks colder that looks a little warmer that looks even hotter because this emits a lot more light and then these uh, I mean it, it looks good too so it's sort of got the bulbous shape from down here when you're looking up at it and then it's sort of scaly too so his hands are scaly so his hands are getting colder we're gonna put another arm over there we're gonna build the mouth and the brain and all that and then we're gonna do all the lava and all the other stuff so let's get to all that stuff all right so we finished putting up a lot of things we got his mouth up here he's going oh, we got both arms they look so cool they're glowing they're getting colder as he goes down and we got his mouth like he's screaming we're gonna do his glass dome and brain next and we got lava coming down so that's the resource they're gathering so we're gonna be able to do some stuff with that so let's do we do, we're gonna do the brain exactly like that one maybe possibly different colors but the glass is gonna be the same shape and all that so we don't have to watch that two videos in a row so let's just skip to that point all right so I had it all of the brains and the glass blocks and I made it look really good I'm in creative rest right now so we can see what it looks like all the way up here I'll fly around and I made it so that the glass looks like it's actually heated up and it's got little pockets of heat going around it so he's heating up the glass and it's looking like it's just like really hot glass cooling down once it gets all the way to the top so we're going with gradients of like white blue and then all the way up fading up to yellow and then eventually just clear glass at the top so that's really cool and let's look at the whole thing so it's got little pockets of like heat just creeping up like it's hotter in certain areas and I even finished the uh, downstairs too so if we look down let's zoom in and look at that so we're gonna walk across the village as if we're someone joining this village coming in from all over there my friend's house that's where Rose lives we're walking all the way across and we're gonna just walk in and see what the uh, whole atmosphere is like so we're walking down this path we see some people over here what are they doing all right this guy ooh, he's got some cool stuff he's looking at it this guy looks like he's taking some of the cool stuff this way he's gonna do something with it in the village that's pretty cool oh we got this nice path leading up with these lights cool looking floor oh there's some of the stuff that they're taking so maybe it's a resource yeah it's probably a resource that they got this guy looks like he's putting some coal in here he's cooking up some stuff yep it's all working so he's got some smoke coming out this guy's taking some taking some of the lava looking at it inspecting it so like, oh yeah that's yep that's lava so he's probably got that from over there this guy what's he cooking oh he got some he has an ingot look at that that's pretty cool so his ingot and cooking it yep it's cooking a lot so this guy ooh, that's fun we got some uh, blacksmiths and some armorers over here so this guy's grinding his axe on the grindstone that's really cool we got an uh, anvil over here it looks like it's been used a lot this guy oh he's smithing smithing on a little sword there looks like he's really good at adding enchantments to things he must be the guy that has enchanted all this stuff oh he's got some stuff uh, on display so these are some chain mail and some weapons and tools he can make that's really cool yeah so this is the uh, full build we're gonna do one more fly around and then we can uh, finish up the video oh uh, one thing I uh, forgot to mention <laughs> this guy is wearing my boots that I wore to make myself safe up there I'm back to wearing my netherite boots with all the stuff on them so I feel safe again I don't have the ability to walk on that or freeze water as I walk but that's a totally fine sacrifice <laughs> I didn't have enough stuff left to uh, equip all these guys so I took those boots and put them on him instead <laughs> alright alright so we're in creative one more time just so we can get a clear view of everything we got the full story down here of what the villagers are doing 
We have all these gold blocks that we previously found out weigh 1.15 million pounds each. So that's plenty to hold this guy. So that's like each one's, what, what was it? Three and a half to 10 and a half blue whales or pretty sure it was blue whales. And then this guy, he's reaching out like, ah, let me go, let me go. He's trying to escape, but they took hold of him, took out parts of his brain and encased it in glass and the glass is heating up. His arms look amazing. They're glowing like they're getting really hot and then fading out to cold hands. His hands are getting cold because they're sucking some of the resources out. They might be depleted in the next thousand years or so. Who knows? <laughs> All right, let's end this video in his, on top of his hand. Let's do that. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed watching that video and I hope you like seeing all the lore I have added to this world and to how these villagers have tamed these giant titans. This is the lava titan or the magma titan or whatever you want to call it and over there we have the water titan that we did last episode this is the whole village so i'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to be doing some more cool stuff all right bye